Greetings and welcome back to Last Word. So, last time after a lengthy interlude, we um, managed to get a little bit further in the story. So, um, yeah, we had a nice discussion with Seymour here. Hello. Uh, he has some chatter we can do, so let's see what that is. I'm so tired. Is this part of it? It is. When you don't get the last word, your body and mind become susceptible. It's taxing and you can never wear out quickly. I'm surprised I'm still standing. That's it. Well, um... Okay, that wasn't very... Uh, helpful. The Mystic Feline, Seymour House... St. Lorden Forces, level 4. The St. Lorden Forces, hmm... I never really thought about joining. It just never occurred to me. But I suppose we could use the manpower if we want our country to maintain its strength, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, we did that. Uh, wine tasting is not his thing. Private prattle isn't either. Okay, so I think outside we got everything. Uh, say more house. I th yeah, we need level 5 for that. Uh, how about Harper? We can increase the boast, increase the charisma of us, um, of Seymour. Um, might be a possibility for later. Right now... Oh! Is he available for... No, 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 no. Is he available mm -hmm. for chatter? He is. I hope your search is fruitful, for your sake as much as the great professors. Is that a veiled threat? <clears throat> never, Miss Gorship, never. Okay, learn skills. Uh, inflection perfection gave. F oh, the bonus power when the conversation goes on that. Oh, yeah, I wanted the saving grace. Oh, yeah, we want that. So we have, uh, like a joker, um, once we lose the conversation. He is still level 32, so not really in our league, but we can chatter with him. Let's do that. Nicole can barely keep up with me. I'm going to drink him under the table by the night's end. Ah, level 3 wine tasting. Is that really such a good thing? Miss Coolship, it's a rich part of boasting culture to be either stalwart or drunk. If not both at the same time, oh ho. Boasting House has a alcohol in its blood, quite literally. It takes a lot to take one of us down. I hardly expect the McCall to keep up. Well, we're dealing with a drunk. Nice. Well, that was the gossip. Chatter's history, nope. Domestic feline, we know that. Same more house as well. St. Lord and Forces. When I was a colonel in the armed forces, I had many good men following my lead. You would have been impressed, Miss Gorship. General Sandoff over there doesn't come from a named house, but she's an excellent officer, I can tell. Her no-nonsense bearing and integrity is exactly what our military needs. I have deep respect for her. Ah, we got the St. Lord and Forces up to level 5. It's one thing to support the military from the safety of our borders, but it's an entirely different thing to support from the front lines. I spent 24 years in uniform, rising from a low lieutenant to a full-fledged colonel. Even now, as a well-respected judge, I've never had more pride than when I was serving St. Lorden. When the war started, my greatest regret was not being a young man. Oh, how I'd make a difference if I were able to arm... Uh, to, if I were called to arms. You don't really want that. You know that. You know that. And that as well. Private battle as well. Okay, we have discussed everything with him. Okay, we still... Yeah, we need something else. Lost girl, ship, section of books. St. Lord and Forces. We can unlock that now. I ought to find one that can tell me that what the special military codes are. A 
brief history of the armed forces, the might of St. Lorden looks like a good bet, but this isn't very brief. Where should I look? Table of contents, index, page number. Index. What word should I look for in the index? Code. The word code has a couple of listings. Codes house special. Ha! Here we go! The page is 879. The word code has a couple of listings. Go back. Where should I look? And now... Go back. Page number. 879. I think I found what I'm looking for. Level 3, hidden word. Woohoo! Well, um... We need say more house, see more. Okay, that is all right. Okay, so we know the say, uh, say more house code now, which is see more. And um, we know how to continue the story. Anyways, I want to gossip about the hidden word. If you're looking for a hidden room, I highly suggest checking out a bookcase or maybe a statue. If there's a statue by a bookcase, even better. Oh. Well, that wasn't really what I wanted to do, but oh well. Anyways, we can gossip with this fine lady. I simply can't believe the professor would pull a, a stunt like this. I won't tolerate being pushed around like a common servant. <sighs> we should be grateful he hasn't asked much more from us than uh, to lounge and chat. <sighs> You're missing the principle of the matter, and I'm growing fatigued already. Well, the chatter wasn't very useful now, was it? All this talk of jewelry and secret rooms makes me worry that one of you is a diamond thief. Leave me out of that scandal. Hey! Stay here, lady. We know that. Sorry. Misclicking. There we go. I think Seymour House, yeah, we already did that. The St. Lorden Forces. Having prattles in the St. Lorden Forces is not only an honor for our house, but an honor for the forces. Our house is so ingrained in military history that if we began to pull out, the country as a whole would lose faith. Do you understand? We experience a sort of celebrity quality. People watch us. And they expect us to commit to our great military generation after generation. Yeah. Now that photography doesn't interest her, wine tasting as... Okay. Um, no, we don't need that. Okay, we talked about everything with her. We know oh. that. Okay, General Sandhoff, chatter. I've heard of these other guests. But there's no reason why I would have met any of them before tonight. Private Prattle. Unlocked. Not even Mrs. Prattle. You knew her son long enough. You must have bumped into her. I only knew Private Prattle in the most fleeting of ways. There are thousands of young soldiers marching among the posts. <clears throat> even so, I have trouble believing your rank doesn't allow you more face time with the houses. <clears throat> I have a higher chance than most, it's true. You're familiar with the separation of classes, I imagine. The major houses typically only associate with one another or high gov government. The military is something on the side where you shed your social status and adopt a rank, at least for the most part. I benefit as a general in that I have a chance to rub elbows with the richer class, something I could have never done otherwise. But I'm also limited in that any other person of my rank could have just as easily been chosen to do the same. Truth be told, I'm rather enjoying this rare opportunity. And we get an experience for that. Nice. Okay, let's gossip. I'm not sure I'm best suited for discussions of estates and secret rooms. There is no sand of house and I live only where I'm stationed. Okay. St. Lorden Forces. I was watching McCall sniff around the bookshelves earlier, a smirk on his face. 
He says he was surprised that the professor had so few books on the military, and I must say that I agree. I rarely read for pleasure, but when I do, I read up the histories of battles and debates. It's a wonder Chatters can call himself a colonel. I re recommend reading the historical volumes McCall had found. I think they might be near the statue thing. Yeah, we know that already, we even know the code. I just want to see if uh, I can press something more out of the guests. I think that might not be the, um, the thing. Okay, my sister has a big fight tomorrow. I hope we're released by then. I suppose that depends on the, if the professor finds what he's looking for. Any idea what he's looking for? <sighs> not necessarily. Ah. He's a madman. No making sense of him. Solving codes by yourself is important. I can't stress that enough. Why must you defy me? I kid, Miss Gorship. You can do as you wish. I hope I didn't come off as an overly aggressive in my jest. That was very helpful of you. Thank you very much. General Sandoff's company is more than welcome, but I can't help but wonder why she was invited. She doesn't seem to know the pro professor on a personal level, nor is she from a house. Those descriptors can be used on you as well. But that's rather rude. Uh, that's a rather rude thing to point out. I apologize. Then why are you pointing it out? Oh man. Okay, we pretty much know ev ev nearly everything now. We have to talk about uh, with Seymour a bit more. Your questioning is stirring up the, the other guests. They've become more active in searching the estate because of you. Seymour House, nope. The forces, there we go. The St. Lorden forces have codes for the houses? I can hardly imagine the use uh, other than formality or nepotism. I saw a book in the northwest section of the dining room that might have more information than I can muster up. Yeah, we already know. We already found it. Okay, let us save the game. And we can then advance in the storyline. Although, I have to say, um, skills. We want the saving grace, but I need five more bows for that. So, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. There we go. Now we are properly equipped. Uh, we know all the things we can know. Uh, now nice sitting down. So now let's advance in the story. I need to know this password. The clue is that it's a military code for the Seymour House. Hmm. Maybe if I knew more about the St. Lorne Armed Forces. Who would know those types of codes? Level 3 hidden word. We unlock that. And now we can uh, unlock the code. Let's see if I got it figured out. Okay, this can take some time. No, M. There we go. And an E. Aha! Uh -huh. Now. Oh. There we go. <clears throat> I wonder what's inside. I wonder as well. The awkward statue doesn't do anything anymore. Huh. Nothing but fl flavor text. Ah, oh, if the judge could be so kind to normally large section of something. No. No, I think there wasn't. Was there a riddle? Oh no, level five photography. Yeah, we have that left. Okay, as I said, let's advance in the story.
What the? Is this Professor Chad Chatters? It's him as a younger man without his trademark mustache and cynical gaze. Oh, the domestic feline. He has a cat next to him. The collar says Harper. It's a white cat, just like the one roaming around the estate. Ah. The professor must have found this room already and placed his picture here. That means this was a waste of time. Surely if the word was in this room, he would have found it. Ah. Alright, Witty, no need to be hard on yourself. What's this picture actually mean? A picture is worth, worth a thousand words, right? The professor must find this memory of his cat awfully special to hide it like this. Maybe that's why I should investigate next. Okay. Okay, I can't investigate any further. Now we have um, the domestic feline, level 2. Ah yes, the gorgeous white-haired cat has been stalking around this estate for years, if I recall. Oh ho. Indeed, that pet has lived up Summer House since long before Professor Chatters bought it. Ah, level 3 already. Nice. Oh, what's with the statue though? Nothing. Aww. <laughs> I'm simply uninterested in domesticated animals. No offense to pet lovers, but I'm more of a people person than a cat person. Okay, hmm. nothing new here. I happen to love cats. Harper is fairly tame. She has the most gorgeous pearl coat. Every soldier has a vice, Gorship. Okay, nothing new here as well. The cat. If she were on the Summer House estate before she had sported out, I would wager that Seymour's a bit more familiar. Yeah, and everything's pointing us in the right direction of Seymour. And so, let's uh, pay Seymour another visit and ask him, ask him about Harper. Hey. Mr. Boasting says that Harper was her here before Chad bought the estate, eh? That's... well, actually, I do recall this cat. I figured it was uh, some other white cat since her collar says Harper, but now that I look at her, I think it's Mother's cat. Her name is Mew. Oh, a Pokemon name. Ah, interesting. And we now have level 4 domestic feline. But why does she have the wrong collar on? Who wants us to think that Mew is Harper? That's a very good question. Hey, you stay here. Answer me. This is pretty odd, Witty. I can't understand why Mother's old cat has the wrong collar on. Was it a mistake? Is it on purpose? Hmm. Okay, once we're here, let's save the game. Okay, so I think this uh, special word has now something to do with um, with the cat Harper. No, I want to know more before we... Uh... That old cat sure looks comfortable. She has no idea what's going on around her. Should I admire that or pity it? Mr. Posting seems quite fond of her. I saw him petting the old girl's neck when we first arrived. Yeah, we already spoke to uh, Judge Boasting about mm. that. I happen to love cats, every soldier. Okay, nothing new. She's still uninterested, so Ju Judge Boasting is the only one who might have something to say about that. Hey, stay here, you. I haven't been to this property since it belonged to the Seymours, but I distinctly remember that white cat being here. Well, okay. So, let's just go to Harper and see what happens. Hello, Harper. What do you have to say? Meow. So, you're not Harper at all, are you, gal? Meow. I wonder why you were given this collar, then. It's pretty fancy, too. Mind if I take a look? Meow. Oh. And now the battle begins. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Just hold still while I check it for... This isn't the same color from the portrait. This looks much newer and... Oh, story. Now let's see. Why is the cat with you in the bathroom? Do you want to bathe the cat? I can't believe this, Mew. You had the word written on the back of your collar the whole time. 
So strange. Harper is etched on the front, but the word is scratched into the back, almost frantically. And such a familiar word. Marvelous. I'm going to have to take this off, but I doubt you want a collar that says the wrong name anyhow. Oh, now we're getting influenced by her. Immune? Huh. Amazing. Miss Gorship, I'm sure you've thoroughly inspected our rather expensive indoor plumbing, but you're needed out here. Huh. Why should I come out? <laughs> the evening is coming to a close. The grand and miraculous professor grows tired of the wait. We expected results much quicker. Hmm. You may stay in here if you like, but I was told to warn you that the mouth will be activated in short order. Young Master Seymour and the others will be questioned about the you-know-what. His patience is not infinite. He demands results. I need more time. <clears throat> you were given ample time. And to be sure, that extra time was merely some soft heart luxury granted by his magnificence. <sighs> I'll be out in a few minutes, servant. Hmm, yeah. I'm impressed. It looks like Miss Gorship figured it out. Figured what out, Nicole? Has she discovered a way for us to best the professor? No, nothing so grand, but look. One of the estate's secret rooms was behind this shelf. Is that so? I should see if any of General Seymour's Pulford Museum artifacts are inside. If so, it's my duty to return them. It would certainly be an appropriate storage. He used a military code to lock the door, which would mean... Don't pester me with the trivialities, McCall. All of you aristocrats talk too much. Yeah. I could swear you've been searching for this room all night. Was I mistaken? Not this room particularly, but a room. Any old secret would do. Yeah. Then why aren't you in there with that brutish woman? She could be squandering General Seymour's treasure treasure. Oddly enough, my curiosity has worn off a bit. I suppose the joy is in the journey. Plus, I'm a touch too tired to hold my previous excitement. I'm all too familiar with that sentiment. It's late and the professor's horrifying machine, all coupled with the wine. Ugh. I'm not as young as I used to be. It's hard being in your late twenties. Really? Late twenties? <clears throat> yes, late twenties. Before you apply interest rates. <laughs> That's the way to put it. All right, before applying interest rates. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. You must be extremely interesting, then. <laughs> and now apply ointment to burn tissue. Right. Um. <laughs> yeah. Have you come to usher us out of the secret room, servant? <clears throat> Romp around as much as you like. In fact, I encourage you to enter and enjoy the masculine vi visage of the professor's youth. But the night's active, uh, activi activities, I think it has to say. Ah. But the night's activities are coming to a close. I've been informed that you should all prepare to gather around the mouth. Why would I subject myself to more of the professor's insulting insults? Your refusal would be an insult in itself. An insult to the host. I suspect that after the bottle incidents, there isn't much lower a prattle can go. Unless we count the Seymour incident, that is. Your insolence is... But there's no need to take my word for it. If you have any sense, you'll partake in the night's conclusion and go home to your pillowy beds. Oh. There's really no other choice. The mouth can't cut us deeper than it already has, can it? I'm not so sure about that. I mean, denying St. Lorden's citizens the right to speak freely already goes against everything this country was founded on. It's unethical. I couldn't have said it better. The professor is a disgrace to the patron saint of discourse. And I'm not even Catholic. You said that for the second time now. My patience is wearing thin, servant. I won't wait around for an audience. 
I'll make my way to see him with you in the way or not. You have a strong bark, General Santov. My bite is very much worse. Well then, I suppose you'll be panting outside of the store while he prepares the mouth. Try not to get slower on the wood flooring. Oh man, this guy. Alright, the story co uh, went on for a bit. So, we now reached the end of the episode time again. So, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little episode. And if you do, a uh, rating would be much appreciated, as always. I certainly hope to see you next time. So, until then, yours faithfully, the Pestafarian.